What's going on, my critics? Welcome to West the Critics YouTube channel, the YouTube channel that is dedicated to letting you know whether something in film is worth it or not. We have a new story to talk about, and I'm going to give my opinion like I do. Before we get into this particular article, do me a solid and definitely pound that like button right below this video. Let's get into the conversation. Also, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And again, this channel is about everything regarding film, and I let you know, as the critic I am, whether something is worth it or not. Nah. Marvel's new Iron Fist has different powers than Danny Rand. Now, we all know, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, the Netflix series Iron Fist was a complete and total gnaw. Nothing about that series was worth it. I didn't like it. A lot of you didn't like it. And it just was trash. Okay, let's just be honest. It was trash and no one cared about it. Now, the best, you know, Marvel's Netflix lineup in that whole scenario was the Daredevil show. And then right after that was Jessica Jones and then Luke Cage. And then Iron Fist was really at the bottom. Way at the bottom. Now, if you did like it, I'm curious. Leave your comments below and let me know why you thought that show was worth it. Say, Wes, I thought that show was worth it. I won't believe you, but it is what it is. So, this new iteration, apparently, um, let's get into it. Let's see what they're saying, okay? The new Iron Fist will not be a carbon copy of Danny Rand and will possess an entirely different, more life-fighting style writer Alyssa Wong revealed in a recent interview. What I can say is that he's taken a slightly unorthodox path to becoming an Iron Fist. He's also been trained by several different people, including some familiar faces. His fighting style is influenced by them. Something we don't always see in male superheroes is emphasis on agility over sheer power. So I wanted to give him a more acrobatic style, the kind you might associate with a cat burglar. As for his powers, they're strange. They're tied into his origin story with an intense Iron Fist twist. You have to read it to find out more. While the identity of the new Iron Fist remains under wraps, Wong praised her series co-creator, pointing out the Michael YG was perfect at establishing the character's fighting style. The key to depicting a superhuman martial artist is always focusing on who they are as a person. Wong said. It informs how they fight, how they approach situations, what methods they're willing to consider, and how they view other people in a situation. How do their emotions drive them in each moment? What are they willing to risk or give up? Every good superhero story is, at its core, a character story. And that's something Michael is great at. Listen, this particular article is not really telling me much, to be honest, and I'm not really enthused by what, what they're talking about in this article. Danny Rand lost his abilities at the end of the six-issue Iron Fist Heart of the Dragon miniseries by Larry Hama and David Watcher. The series finale saw the powers of the Iron Fist passed on to the reborn dragon, Gork, the pet of Danny's protege, Pei, who was reincarnated as an egg. Danny told his longtime friend, Luke Cage, that he wasn't sure what he would do without his powers, but plan to live life to the fullest. Wong said that he would definitely make an appearance in the upcoming series and possibly even run, serve as mentor to the new Iron Fist. Danny might not have the power of the Iron Fist anymore, but he's still a martial artist who's saved the world several times. Can you ever really return to normal civilian life, especially when your city's constantly under attack? That being said, Danny is about as chill as anyone could be under those circumstances. He's getting lunch with Luke Cage and Pei, working on himself, and occasionally fighting off a demonic threat on the way to the supermarket. He's honestly having a great time. I hope he's getting to relax a little bit. Somehow, I doubt the peace will last. I'm not impressed. This is not telling me anything that I, that I care to learn about. I don't know. If or when they decide to bring the next Flix characters over to Disney Plus and have them, you know, on their own MCU series on the Disney Plus, I'm not going to really care. There's there's no point to, right? Hopefully, they don't bring the guy that played Danny Rand on the Netflix show over to Disney Plus. I mean, it was, it was just horrible. I don't know. This all sounds like a nod to me. I'm not really here for it. 
I'm not a fan of the Iron Fist character. I didn't really care about it in the comics, and I damn for sure didn't care about it on the Netflix show. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Does this sound like it's something worth it or not? I'm going to give it an R rating. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Definitely slam that like button. If there is anything you want me to talk about and discuss with you guys, because we're all critics in life, let me know. Leave a comment below. And thank you guys for watching.